If you like doing little social media videos of your cycling or, or anything else for that matter, and you want to make them look a bit special, then this camera, the Hovercam X1, could be the one you're looking for. I have been sent this pre-production sample free of charge, along with other YouTubers. The Hovercam is now available on Indiegogo to support and buy. I'm not sponsored by or have any involvement with the company, Zero Zero Robotics, and I won't vouch for them in any way, but I will give you my honest opinion of their product. Okay, so this is how it comes. The box is still sealed. Now, I don't really do unboxings, so let's just... Oh, see, I'm not... This is why I don't do unboxings. Try that in. Yes, well, that's dinky. Hovercam, pack, battery charging hub, and two batteries. Quick start guide. Oh, wow, now, this says before your first flight. Please fly outdoor for a better experience. And that's it. Look how, look how, I've got small hands. Look how small that is. Wow. A couple of hours later, I've had a shave. This is charged up, and probably the first thing I have to do is pair it with the app on my phone. Please connect to your oh. phone and active the device with the Hover app. She speaks quite well, doesn't she, really? Before starting your flight, it says, please complete the eight tasks. Are you ready? Estimated time, two minutes. Ready. Hold hover in the palm of her and align the camera to your face. Got it. Use the other hand to press the power button. Okay. This is doing its thing. Put my hand back. Right? Wow. I've come to a fairly clear area to, uh, to test the little hover cam. And the first thing you notice is that it fits in my jersey pocket, which is astonishing. That's the little case it comes in. So it's now in the mode where it is just hovering. And let me just take a picture of it. That's it there. And you've got like a personal drone that uh, will just kind of like pan around. It's like having a cameraman and I can go a distance away from it. And when I want it to land, I just put my hand underneath and it comes down. Okay, so this is going to be the zoom out function. So I can just say, off you go. You're meant to zoom away and you're doing it. It is quite buffeting the wind, but you know, it's working okay, isn't it? What I do have to do though is that so I can synchronize the sound from this recorder to the hover cam. Ooh. Right, let's try orbit. Let's see if how this works. Oh, are you gonna hit anything? I don't think you are. Just clearing the fence. Oh, you knew that. You have a downward sensor. That was clever. Okay, so that's orbit. Bird eye. Bird eye view. Might get caught by the wind here. Up it goes. Let's do, a, let's do a walk, run, and bike. Yeah, no problem keeping up with me on a walk, is there? No problem at all. So let's go around here. Let's do a quick run back to the bike. Oh, yep, no problem at all. Now the tricky one. Are you there? You're following? Oh, 
lost it. Seem to have lost it, I'm not sure where it's gone. So don't use it around uninvolved people or animals or vehicles. At 125 grams, it does not need registration in the UK, but you must follow the drone code. So that's all right, eh? Once I don't go too fast, it seems to be following me fine. Now, obviously I think the video is gonna be better when the sun's on me, so if I go the other way, see how that looks. But I don't think, I haven't worked out yet whether I can control the distance or the height it is from me. But uh, for a simple follow me thing, it's not bad. Come on. Oops. Flying manually through the app is quite easy when you get the hang of it. It will take multiple command inputs so you can make more complex moves. But of course, this is not this device's real strength. So initial impressions of the hover cam, it does seem to move around a lot in relatively minor winds, so I'm not too sure what this is gonna look like when I get it back. It's impressive, the size, it's useful, great for something quick for social media. Whether it's actually something I would use in a proper video, I'm not so sure. It's a convenient size, so it's more of a thing for, for holiday snaps, an accompaniment for your phone rather than for any serious videos. It can't track in front of you, pointing backwards to see your face. And there are no side collision avoidance sensors. Are you going to miss this tree? Oh, looks like you have. The footage has to be downloaded to your phone first, then synced to a computer if you're going to edit. There's no SD card to remove. I've not tested its capacity or battery life. Okay, well, if you're impressed by that, you're probably wondering how do I get one of these things? This is what I've been told. It is on the crowdfunding website Indiegogo. Search for Hover Camera X1. I'll put a link to that page in the video description. Again, mine is an independent review and I'm in no way endorsing the company. But I do endorse these videos, <laughs> which you might want to take a look at now. I'll see you again next time. Bye.